let's make raised beds. I have decided that I wanted to turn my backyard into food. Our soil around here isn't great. It's just worked better for us to have raised beds. And so we are making another one and I thought it would be a good opportunity to show you how easy it is to make one step-by-step -step instructions. My husband first went to Lowe's and I'm gonna let him explain what he got. She's looking for a four by four box. So I bought a 16 foot board when I had it cut down at Lowe's so it was easier to transport, which you can see in earlier video shot of it. And I just had it cut into four foot sections. What I was really looking for was an eight foot section of board that I could just cut in half because it might be cheaper by board foot than a 16 foot board. So just check your local source. But um, I bought a 16 foot one, just cut into four sections, shoved in the car and brought it home. We're out of the car now. And without a little forward thinking about how to get a 16 foot board home, if you don't own a truck, bringing a saw with you is a good idea. You can cut it down. I had the guys inside cut it down for me, but you can see even a truck like that or like this isn't gonna get a 16 foot board home. So think about what you're buying before you leave. And then we got it here, and then instead of taking it out back and burning it because it's been raining a little bit, I just burnt it right here in the garage on all four sides of it just to seal it. And then I've got it sitting here. I'm gonna be using big, bigger screws to put this thing together. So what I did was pilot hole it and, but what I did before that is the boards are an inch and a half thick. So I took divided in half, three quarters of an inch. I just scribed a line and then I went two inches down from the top, two inches from the bottom. I split the difference in the middle. So if you're looking at it on a tape measure, it's two inches from the top, five and a half in the middle, nine and a half at the top. You can do it however you want. Then I basically screwed a screw into each one and then backed it out as a pilot hole. And I just put a little screw into each four sides just to hold it together, square it up while I was screwing it together. And now what I'm gonna do is, you don't need screws like this to put this thing together. I've got a regular screw in there that would hold it. I just kinda like the way these look. And I just happen to have them laying around. So I've already, like I said, I've already got my holes pilot hole and drilled. If you don't, these screws are big enough that you might actually just split the wood if you're not careful, so. And it's got a nice little button look to it. But like I said, if you don't pilot hole them first, you may run a risk of just splitting that wood. And then it's gonna rot out a whole lot quicker than it would have. So I got one there, one there, one there. And when I'm done, because I measured them all out, They'll just look uniformed, but it really doesn't matter because it's going to be in my backyard. And I did mark them A, B, C, and D. That's in case I carried them out, I wanted to put it together outside. Like I said, this thing's pretty secure already. It's that gum, it's heavy. If you don't have a pilot hole, this is what you can do. Is just work it in and out a little bit. If you take it all the way down, it can tend to split. But... Like I said, you don't have to pilot hole it, but it is um, probably a safer bet. Now we're gonna take it to the backyard. So what I'm first gonna do is just put cardboard down on the bottom and then I don't have to worry about this grass. Then we're gonna put some manure. Is that what that is? What is that mushroom compost? A layer of mushroom compost under that, which helped us save a lot of money because it's not near as expensive. So now it's time to fill the bottom, cover the bottom with the cardboard, and it will eliminate the grass problem. So I don't have to fill it. I am fortunate to have had this big box so I don't have to piece near as many boxes together. Just let it come up on the side. I'm gonna line these up on the side just to 
separate the wood from the dirt for a little bit anyway until that box wants to break down. Gotta make sure it's level. I had a lot of filler paper from my last order and I'm just throwing it in there. Just take up a little space, a little less little less soil, which is why we didn't do the really tall raised bed, which I absolutely love, but it was so much work with all of the soil and expensive that we just decided to cut back a little bit. And I don't mind the shorter beds. I like them just fine. Okay, let me get that. Let's scoop it out real quick. So it was easier to get the bags than to drive up to the landscape place with the trailer and deal with the whole no mess. All I can say is pumpkins are going in here today. Yesterday it started raining and so we didn't get to finish our project, but the project is almost done. The only thing I have left is to put a little bit of mulch on top and plant my pumpkin seeds and my spaghetti squash seeds. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this instructional video on how to make an easy version of the raised bed. And I would love to hear from you. What are you doing in your garden? What are some tips that you can share? We learn from each other. So I wanna thank you so much for watching. If you would please like and subscribe and maybe share these videos if you are getting some things out of them. I appreciate it so much. You guys have a great day. Mm -hmm.